Yellowstone National Park officials are now investigating a New York photographer who posted drone photos taken in the park last week. It is illegal to fly drones in most national parks, Yellowstone included. MTN's John Shear reports. Thermal features like these here at Mammoth Hot Springs, along with animals, are the big draw for Yellowstone Park. And the strongest supporters of the park keep a close eye on how visitors treat these rare treasures. The photo was posted uh, on Instagram and stewards of the park shared the photo with us and then we were able to share it with law enforcement arrangers so they could initiate an uh, investigation. The photo is no longer on Instagram, but the photographer, Tim McGurr, has left his comments about the incident on his account. And he's unapologetic, telling critical posters, quote, people hiking and driving through the park create more of a disturbance than I did or ever will, end quote. Worthen disagrees saying park employees have witnessed wildlife being harassed by drones and more. There have also been small drones that have actually been located in, in a Yellowstone geysers. Uh, they're also a, they're a safety concern. McGurr says he entered the park overnight, the last day of the fall season, and waited until dawn to take his photo. He said the gates were locked when he tried to leave, so he found another way out. He doesn't explain what that other way was. We thank those stewards of Yellowstone who are online watching, seeing photographs that were taken illegally and sharing that with us. Violating the no drone policy in the park is a misdemeanor. It carries a penalty of up to six months in jail and a fine of up to $5,000. Now in the past, some who have violated this policy have also had their privilege of visiting the park revoked for a number of years. That is up to the judge in the case. And in this case, the judge would be a federal judge because Yellowstone is federal property. At Mammoth Hot Springs, I'm John Shearer for MTN News.